Well, boys, we did it. Town Hall 13, free to play. Six months later. What's going on, my friends? My name is Joe. Welcome back to the show and check out that base. Oh, yeah, that's starting to look really solid at 32 months of being a free to play maxer. But a lot of players out there think that it cannot be done and check it out. We're full on gold. We're still in Legends League and we placed for the very first time in the Legends League tournament at 5,118 trophies. Now, unfortunately, that was not my best. We had 5,198 and one one point and unfortunately due to the town hall 14s we lost it in today's video we're going to get you caught up on what's been upgraded on this base as well as our laboratory upgrade strategy and why we stopped buying the hammers of fighting and instead buying hammers of building <laughs> Over on our beautiful progress base, we were able to upgrade our Royal Champion one more level to level 22 based on the guidance that I gave you at the four month period of Town Hall 13 free to play. Using that free book of heroes from the season pass to keep those heroes up. And that's one of the biggest things about staying in Legends League is that once you max your heroes, get up to Legends League because it gets super easy. It really does. Check this out. Because in our last episode, we did the upgrade on our Expos, and they're all level 8 now. Very nice, right? And we also finished the upgrade on our Siege Machine Workshop to level 5, allowing us to use the Log Launcher. Now, as we move into our final defenses, you're going to notice that we've really placed a big emphasis on finishing our Wizard Towers. Looks like three of them, no, two of them are going to level 12 right now, and then we have two more that are going to level 13. But what's really interesting about this is that they are 16.2 million gold apiece at 17 days to upgrade. I mean, that is absolutely insane. And you're going to see that we have a hammer of building there, and I'll explain that here in a second. We've also started working our way into air defenses and... And let's not forget about walls. We have completed 15 pieces of wall to level 14 in the last 30 days. So what's really interesting is that each of you play Clash differently and the amount that you play is going to vary based on what's going on within your real lives, right? And when we look at this laboratory, this is proof that the guidance that we've given you over the last six months actually works when it comes to the hammers of fighting and the hammers of spells. Check it out. We have completed literally everything in our laboratory in the last six months minus those siege machines. So in our last guide, we were upgrading the siege barracks to level two. And then immediately afterwards, I used hammers to finish out the poison spell, the skeleton spell, and that minion. And that's pretty much it. So honestly, the laboratory, the way it sits, we only have about three months left. And that's where we can kind of transition our purchase of hammers into something else. And if you guessed that was the hammer of building, you were absolutely correct. So as you can see, we have one under a cooldown right now. Unfortunately, seven days, you gotta wait it out before you can buy another one. But we still got 312 medals left over from the last Clan War Leagues, and we're getting ready to go into another Clan War Leagues to stack on those medals, my friends, because we're gonna be able to speed up the progress of our defensive upgrades, which ultimately will help us move into Town Hall 14 a little bit faster. Now, with that being said, we have a ton of gold, and the best part about a hammer is the fact that you don't need resources, and you certainly do not need to wait, but there are certain buildings that you might want to think about before you swing that hammer. In this case, we're using 17-day upgrade, and we're going to upgrade it like this, but I would definitely recommend a hammer now that I've already played through it once before. If you're doing this for the first time, save those hammers for, like, the eagle. I mean, the eagle is, like, super long upgrade upgrade as well as the inferno towers as well as the scatter shots that's probably the best option to use your hammers of building just learn from my experiences you know because i don't necessarily make the best decisions but we got to play through it first before we can tell you this works or this doesn't work you know 
Make sense? Yeah. So there are two levels on the hidden Teslas, and we're going to go ahead and keep going with our air defenses. Now, since we're in Legends League, we can upgrade multiple defenses because on our defensive layout in Legends League, those defenses are still operational. Remember, it's a screenshot. We talked about that in a prior video, as well as the army that we've been using in Legends League. <laughs> Now, how much time is left until we go to Town Hall 14? The question of the month, right? <laughs> Everybody keeps asking that. Now, when we get into our trusty Clash Ninja website, highly recommended website for tracking your villages, to avoid that burnout, I want you to notice that we have completed 76% on our structures, 95% in our laboratory, 96% on our heroes, and 97.1% on the walls. In six months that's really not bad now when we get into our stats showing the amount of time that's left until we're maxed all those hammers of fighting and spells that we dumped in the laboratory have paid off check it out three months 13 days and 22 hours now when we go up to the remaining structures we're looking at six months and 17 hours but since we've transitioned into buying hammers of building instead this thing is going to speed up so much especially with the income that we're getting from legends league you know this has been one heck of a journey when it comes to playing Playing this game free to play because a lot of players do not survive this long without buying the gold pass I know a lot of you guys out there that I've talked to and you're just like I don't know how you do it and the truth be told is that one my biggest motivator is the fact that there are players out there that think that it can't be done now I have mentioned Legends League a lot in the last couple of weeks and I know that some of you guys might be getting a little frustrated with that but first things first that league badge looks awesome there are a lot of players in the game that look up to you when you have that badge. Now, I also understand that not all of you out there have a base that looks like this. So you might need to go back in our series. I'll make sure that it's linked down in the description below for you because I also started out with a whole bunch of farming with the Sneaky Goblins, the best farming troop in the game, to max out those heroes. The biggest emphasis from the start was working on my laboratory and upgrading heroes. But once I got to a point where the heroes were maxed out, it's time to do something else because I get bored very easily. And once the base starts to look a little maxed out, we need to start challenging ourselves and that's exactly what we've been doing. Now, I also understand that there is a limitation on how high I can go in Legends League, probably about 5,200, even 5,300 if you're super skilled and you have an amazing base. But at the end of the day, that league is really designed for the highest town hall level in the game. So you got to do what you can with what you got. And make sure you check out my last guide on the easiest town hall 13 versus town hall 14 or Legends League attack because it could be useful for you for both trophy pushing as well as the Clan War Leagues coming up in the next couple of days. Let me know down in the comments below how your bases are going. And if you enjoyed today's content, make sure to leave a like on the video, consider subscribing, and we will see you in the next video.